So I question, Harley, can you please explain how many grams of fructose you've averaged for the last decade on this fruit vegan lifestyle? Good question. I started, I was vegan in 2001, I think it was about April 2001 I went vegan. Read that book, Fit for Life, started eating more fruit, learned about more raw foods in 2002, really picked up the fruit consumption then. So I can objectively say most of my calories since around the 2001, 2002 have been from sweet sugary fruit. Not all my calories, most of my calories have been. 100% have been from vegan foods, most from fresh sugary fruits, dates, sultanas, figs, melons, bananas, apples, grapes, durians, jackfruit, chumpadak, relinia, custard apples, anamoya, things like that. Sugary fruits, fresh or dried. How much fructose have I averaged? Well, you've got two dates is around 15 grams of fructose, roughly. So, do the math, I'm at least, at, let's say at least 300 grams of fructose a day, anywhere up to 600, 700 maybe each day, over, over a decade. Now, Macola says that fruit's going to make you fat, all that <laughs> fructose is going to make you fat. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't see much fat on my body. Uh, I don't do muscle building. I don't do sit-ups, man. I don't do sit-ups at all. I probably should do some sit-ups. Get off my ass. I'm lazy. I'm like, what if I do sit-ups? What do they do? <laughs> you know? These guys say fructose makes you fat. I've eaten, you know, over 300 grams of fructose a day for over a decade now. My mum's obese. Mathematically, medically, clinically obese based on her body mass index. She's 30 kilos heavier than I am, a little bit shorter than I am. That's really sad, that's really sad. So it's not my genes to be this lean. This is diet, people, this is diet. And if you look at all the long-term fruitarians, fruit eaters, fruit heads, fruit addicts, 100% are slim, regardless of their fitness levels, they're all slim, 100%, they're all slim. I know fruitarians who are as lean as me, but they can't even run a fucking 5k without stopping. They're not fit, but they're lean because they've done, been doing the lifestyle a long time. A long time. So, the nonsense that people put out, like Robert Lustig and that, those guys who are overweight, like Sugar the Bitter Truth had like 3 million views. Robert Lustig's on stage in his suit to cover up his big belly, and he's saying, Fruit makes you fat. Fruit toast makes you fat. Here's the thing. Read a human uh, physiology textbook. Does fruit, does fructose require insulin to be metabolized? Does it? Why do all the long-term fruitarian people have such slim physiques? Does it have anything to do with low insulin levels? Low fasting insulin levels? Does it have anything to do with that? Maybe. Just maybe. And is the reason that all the Western societies who believe the whole protein dogma and have their animal products three or four times a day spike the fuck out of insulin levels and have an obesity epidemic which is growing to all the other nations around the world who bring on the meat and dairy dogma propaganda dietary advice that if you don't have animal protein within 24 hours you'll be dead tomorrow from protein deficiency is there any connection there with animal products which are high on the insulin index scale beef dairy eggs fish etc and the obesity the bigness of people and the weight loss industry which was booming the meat industry is getting bigger, and the weight loss industry is getting bigger. Is there any connection there? Is there any connection there? Maybe. Maybe if you want to get big, you need to... If maybe if you want to beef up, you need to eat beef. Because it raises the fuck out of your insulin, stores a lot of body fat, and you won't look like a skinny, scrawny fruitarian with fucking veins in his abs. Fructose, my friends, keeps you lean as fuck. Yes, if you go to the heart attack grill, and have a burger with three ounces of fat and you squeeze on some ketchup from Heinz which has a gram of fructose in there and you might say, well I've been eating a heart attack grill for the last few years and I'm morbidly obese and yes I watched Dr. Lustig's program on YouTube and I agree, the one gram of fructose I eat is making me obese and the 120 grams of animal fat I eat a day, that's, that's very slimming and that's what people are going to fucking buy into because morons Morons want to hear good things about their bad habits. And if you want to sell a book, if you want to get hits, if you want to market a product, tell people good things about their bad habits. Say, smoking, that's good for you. 
If you don't smoke, you'll start coughing, and that makes your lungs weak. If you don't eat animal products, and you don't, you know, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose too much weight. You're gonna get too lean, like those fruitarian people, those vegan fucking people. You won't have any, 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 any fat on your arms left. What happens if you get caught in a plane crash and have to walk for seven months? You won't have any fat left. True, I'll die first because my body fat's like two percent. But hey, do you want to be lean or do you want to be fat? If you want to be fat, load up on the animal products. If you want to be lean, load up on the carbohydrates with fruit being the preference. White rice works fine, but fruit's more nutritionally packed and it tastes better in my opinion. But the starches are a great backup plan. And if we go to China, if we go to Africa, we look at cultures who have lived on starch as their staple, always slim. Always slim. So fruit or starch, you choose. Don't believe the bullshit about fructose. It's all a myth. Look at my blood tests. Look at my uric acid load. Look at my triglycerides. Look at my cholesterol. Look at my blood pressure. Look at my body fat levels. Look at my hemoglobin A1C levels. Look at my fasting blood sugar levels. Clinically, laboratory certified blood tests. Look them up. They're all on YouTube. You decide. Forge new beliefs based on your own personal conclusions. I have. I recommend you do too. Thanks for watching.